Hello, I'm the pointless commentator for the debate between President Donald Trump and for Bernie Sanders. This has been long awaited and was personally funded by Mr. Donald Trump. President Trump, sorry. Now, uh, without further ado, how about we get started? Our first question goes to you, Donald Trump. President Donald Trump. Still getting used to that. Uh, so, the first question. How do you feel about Halloween? Well, thank you, pointless commentator. I hope that the paycheck you're getting is fair. <clears throat> I'd like to start out by thanking my opponent, Bernie, for coming out and doing this. I know that during the campaign he wanted this to happen. Didn't happen, but we're making it happen now. I wanted to give him the chance to face off with the Donald, and I want him to express himself. I want him to say what he came to say, because what happened on the Democratic side of that back in 2016, it was so wrong, just, just, just wrong. He got cheated by the Clintons, Hillary in particular, and uh, in order to make things right again, make it great again, I'm having him on. I don't. Need, I don't need your charity. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk it out, and we're gonna, we're gonna come to some valid conclusions. I was just saying I don't need your charity. That's all. I... <laughs> now, if we're talking about Halloween, the one thing that I'd remember most is when I was a little. Just a little tiny billionaire. I would go up and I'd tell my father, I said, Father, what should I be for Halloween? He said, Donald, you can be whatever you want. And when I was a little billionaire, I wasn't old enough to be president. But now that I'm a bigger, more, better billionaire, I can be president. President is what I always wanted to be for Halloween. And that's what I am this Halloween. It's fantastic. It's marvelous. It's all I ever wanted. But uh, we wanted to give a chance to the old man over here to uh, redeem himself. The uh, the burn. So we could feel the burn. We could get the burn. Whatever that means. I don't know. There's a lot of young people that seem to think this guy is smart or something. I'm not sure. But we have to pay attention to, to the to the bigness of me compared to him. You know, I have a lot of friends in a lot of high places, and I, I don't know who this guy knows. I barely even know this guy as it is. I've never actually shook his hand. No, no. Just just making all these uh, all these uh, old man cracks over here. I'm, I'm only a few years older than you, you know. It's uh, one thing I'd like to get out of the way. Uh, I came here because I want to promote the Democratic Party. All right. Uh, one thing that people must remember about the last election was we won the popular vote. All right. It's in. It's it's. We won the popular vote. So, you know, if we're going strictly by numbers, yellow hair over here wouldn't have won. All right. So. You know, I'm not saying abolish the college or nothing like that. College should be free, by the way. We're not doing that. We're, we're talking about people remembering what's important, all right? I think a lot of people like us. We did a good job. Let's do it again. We didn't get the presidency this time, but I hopefully we, we do it. We do it. Uh, in the coming uh, years, uh, cycles. So, uh, to your uh, question, uh, Halloween is a, is an interesting holiday, all right? Personally, I don't understand it. Not much at all, actually. Uh, never celebrated myself. Uh, dressing up like somebody else doesn't make no sense to me. But uh, uh, it, it seems pretty cool the way that the kids can go from house to house, from door to door, uh, picking up candy and such. Just, just from from good people, and uh, you know, it's 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 
I think it's I think it's a good thing. Uh, you know, it, it's a good uh, communal thing. You know, uh, these Wall Street billionaires and, and these and these wealthy business owners, they probably don't have their front porch light on. Their gates probably aren't open to the trick or treaters. That's that's an important thing to to note about all that actually. And uh, this guy, I bet he doesn't give trick or treaters candy from the White House. I can tell you that. Look, there's obvious security risks with that, which you probably already know. So it's ridiculous that you would say something like that. All right, we hang bags of candy up along the fencing for these kids that pass by. I'm not a monster. All right. I, I think about that. I visualize it in my head. What could these kids possibly want from me, Donald Trump, on this Halloween night? And I give it to them. I give them candy. All right? Not some of my candy, but someone that I paid someone else to go grab for them, for me. All right? That's how this whole thing works. Okay? I don't understand what's so complicated about that. Okay. Next question. How do you feel about candy? Well, there's this old lady, uh, who works three jobs, and, uh, when it comes time for Halloween, she can't always afford Halloween candy for, for her, for her kids, right? And, uh, so I say make all the candy free, all right? Let's just make it all free, and, uh, help out these struggling people in, in these struggling areas, that's what I say. <laughs> Who's the lady? What's her name? You don't even know, do you? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what her name is. It doesn't matter who she is. All right? That's not the point. Wrong. Look, look, you don't understand this. These these billionaires, they don't understand this, this principle that it's hard-working folks in the middle class that the... That, that need the help the most. They need the free candy the most. You get what I'm saying? It's uh, it's an important thing to think about. I can't believe this guy. He talks about my best friends like they're nothing. You know how many people? My Wall Street Journal, I mean Wall Street banker people, employ. You know how many jobs they help create? That's something to think about. And this guy... Bernie, always the man who wants things to be free. We can't live in a world where things are free, all right? It's just not a good idea. I mean, what's the point of making things free? If my solid gold bathroom was free, how could I show off how wealthy I am to people? It doesn't make any sense. You need to have money, you need to have good business, and you need to have, most importantly, reciprocity. It's a big word, it's a fantastic word. I say it well, and that's what we need in this country. That's what we need when we make our deals, all right, which this guy doesn't know how to make. If this guy was president, he wouldn't be making deals. He wouldn't have a 4% raise up on that economy, all right? That's all I'm trying to say. But uh, I, my my favorite uh, candy is, uh, is uh, I'd say it was uh, suckers. Yeah. I, I like those. I I I, uh, I had a few before this uh, debate. Uh, this whatever this is, I don't know. I'm getting paid two thousand dollars, so I love candy. It's great. It tastes fantastic. Everyone agrees with me. There should be more of it. I keep a candy stash in my suit pockets. I keep it on my private planes. I keep private compartments on Air Force One. We have lots of candy. All right. And a complimentary cake when it's necessary. All right, a final, our final question goes to President Trump. What is your favorite Halloween monster and why? Go ahead. Well, if I really had to choose, my favorite monster would probably be the Frankenstein monster. And that's not the monster monster I'm talking about. It's the doctor. All right. People need to make that distinction. People get confused sometimes. They say Frankenstein. They think of the guy that's green with the bolts in his neck that goes roar. It's not true, all right? Frankenstein was the doctor. I know that. I remember that. And I'd want to be him because he was a smart guy. And I'm a smart guy. I don't have to tell you that, but I'm saying it anyway. Just so you remember. 
who the smart guy is. I would be Frankenstein, but I have better things to do. I have important business to attend to elsewhere. I can't be trying to reanimate dead tissue, all right? It's not part of my job, all right? I'm trying to reanimate this country, make it great again. Because it died, I have to bring it back. It won't be an ugly Frankenstein America. It will be a nice, sleek, attractive-looking America. All right, that's my whole point. See, this is the problem I have with this guy. I, 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 I respect our president. This, this is, this is a totally respectful remark. But uh, the guy's a joke. All right, uh, I, I, I don't trust him. He's trying to burn down the forest. He's trying to ruin the environment and uh, start global warming episode two. You know, and uh, he doesn't care about the kids. He doesn't care about free college or, or making anything free. Uh, there should be, there should be more free things, that's all, uh, you know, who's gonna argue with that? Uh, you know, I mean, I don't understand how his hair ends up the way it is, I don't understand how his face looks how it is, he's calling me old man over here. You better watch out who you're talking to, Burn. Yeah, I don't want to kick you out of your own debate. I'm gonna have the security just come up and just walk you out of here. Look, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. I don't cut down trees. I don't even like trees. What do they even do? I don't know. The only thing I like about trees is that they're green. Green like money. And I like money. I like making it myself. I like making America make money. If that makes any sense. Because it does. Alright. What we can't have is this guy knocking about in our government system messing with the uh, deals that we're trying to make, trying to make America great again. We don't need Bernie in the way. We don't need Hillary in the way because they do the same thing. You made the right choice when you voted for me. We're not going to abolish the college. That's insane. All right. I went to every state. I was energetic. I made up stuff on the fly. You probably remember it. It was awesome. All right. Now this guy, He's a bad guy, all right? He called me a liar. He said atrocious things about me. And I don't appreciate it. But I forgive him. Because I'm a forgiving guy. And I'm a merciful guy. That, that's a good word, too. So, if we're going to just make up stories about how things should be free, or about how the young people are oppressed somehow, I don't even understand. Maybe they should go get a job because I'm making a lot more of them. They're going to have more options. They're going to be able to take what they want. Come on now. It's not rocket science, even though I could do rocket science if I wanted to, because it's very easy for me. Maybe not easy for everyone else, but, uh, you know, yeah, I can't do everything. I just, I just can't do everything. But uh, I do what I can. I do what I can. Look, the thing about elected officials that's so great about them is that they they are not there forever. Thank goodness this guy's not gonna be here forever, you know? Wrong. See, this guy's a pathological liar, all right? I didn't call Bush that back in the day. He was just a, Bush was just a conservative uh, president. But this guy, he's a pathological liar. He doesn't tell the truth. He doesn't say things that, uh, that, uh, that are real. Any more synonyms with that? Any other ways to say that? I don't know, but it's it, it makes sense to me, and I'm saying it. Wrong. I'd have to say that uh, my favorite Halloween monster is uh, uh, the Swamp Monster. Uh, we didn't win Florida this past election cycle. It was it wasn't blue this time, but I think we can get it if we if we really push through. If we if we appeal to these these swamp people, uh, we'll uh, we'll get it we'll get a better shot at it next time. I think. Wrong. Well, that's all we have tonight. Thank you very much, people. Hopefully, that was entertaining. Just as a, a closing uh, statement, uh, I just want to say that uh, everyone uh, should wear more blue. And I think you know why I'm telling you that. Because uh, blue's a, a, a great color. And, uh, you know, uh, 
maybe if uh, if you got any suckers, uh, send them send them to my uh, secretary, or or just just take them to some of those uh, democratic uh, gathering parties. Technically, I I don't consider myself a democrat, but uh, you know, I uh, I'll I'll accept that if if you do that. I I would really appreciate that. Thank you, everyone. I win. I win big. I win small. I win everything in between. That's how it is. That's me. I'm done.